Bigby! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this... Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Where's Crane? Is he still here? Huh? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't really... Uh... Do you live in the building? Look, little girl, I know he was just here. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't know what that is. Crane? It's okay. Do you have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so... Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Has a man been in here recently? Maybe, uh, seeming kind of nervous? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, boss. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. No one's been over. How much longer do you think it'll be? Not here. There's no one here but me. Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy... What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. when you do it that fast.
What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. Not good enough for you? Or it usually works, anyway. Most people aren't sick enough to strong-arm a kid. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. I'd be very, very careful if I were you. You're not as cute as that little girl. You have a lot to learn on how to treat a lady. Greenleaf? When I was starving and homeless and out on the streets, nobody gave three sticks of thought about me. And now I'm supposed to care what you want? If I helped you, I'd be strung up on the Statue of Liberty before the morning commute. No thanks. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk. Now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you! Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. That it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. You know, you aren't technically my boss yet, Snow. Do you think this is a joke? No, I don't. The fact is, Cole hasn't confirmed you, and until he does, you have absolutely no authority over me. I'm not gonna burn down this tree. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. 